Let's go over some Google Ads basics with their new design platform. If you've been in Google Ads lately, you're going to notice that it keeps defaulting back to the new design platform. I know even for me, I don't like this because now I have to learn a different way of checking out Google Ads. So we're going to go over some of the basics of what you can find and where you can find it inside of your Google Ads account. So first, let's go ahead and talk about how to change back and forth to the new appearance. Maybe there's something you can't find that you really want to find. You can click this little icon here and then you can use the previous design for this session. Now later on, it's going to default back to this. So understand that if you want to keep going back to the old one, you need to keep clicking this. Eventually, I don't know the date, but coming up very soon is what I'm assuming at this point, you're not going to be able to get back to that. So you need to understand what we're going over here so that you can actually look at your Google Ads account. So first, let's talk about how to actually find your campaigns because sometimes that alone can be a little confusing, right? You're going to go to campaigns here. Now, sometimes also, if you're actually already inside of a campaign, you're going to need to go and click on all campaigns. So really, it's two different things, kind of like with the old version, but it's in different spots. It's either going to be clicking on campaigns here or all campaigns. Those are the two things that you're looking for. And the campaigns are really the master area where everything is located at. So here we're going to click on campaigns campaigns and we'll be looking at all of them. Now, the weird thing about the new design is we're only actually looking at one campaign, even though we haven't clicked into one campaign, we're only looking at one campaign now. So we can go back to all campaigns and see all of them. So again, if, if you're wondering where you're at, click on other campaigns or all campaigns, maybe twice, maybe three times, right? Then you can see all of your campaigns. Now you want to find out like how many impressions are you getting? What's really going on with your campaigns? Now over here, uh, is where you can actually tell. We're looking at all campaigns. We're looking at the campaign area and we've got a campaign here and a campaign here. And we've got 2,003 impressions and then five impressions on the other campaign. And it's only in the last, uh, I think, 30 days. And you can also customize and look at last month, this month, the last year, the last forever. If you want to do all time, you can change that over here. But right now we're just going to look at, uh, let's look at, let's change it to the past 60 days just to show you what's going to happen with that. And now we're looking at how much we actually spent, how many impressions we have, how many clicks we have. Now here's the other neat thing, impressions top and impressions absolute top. Absolute top means number one, absolutely number one. And impressions top is I think the top three of Google. Now what's going on in a lot of searches is the top three sometimes means you're at the bottom of the page because sometimes it's only the one or two that show up, but it depends on the search. So I won't really go into a lot of that, but here you can actually see how many clicks you've got, right? So this is the, the best place under campaigns, all campaigns. You're looking at impressions, which means how many times somebody looked at the ad and then then you're actually looking at clicks, which is how many times somebody bona fide went to either your website or to your whatever your it could be your your phone number, it could be whatever. But how many how many times you actually had to click one unique individual? Usually, if it's a search campaign, it's, they went to the website, right? And then this is important stuff to look at regularly. Now, what if you want to pause? This is a big thing I get asked. What if you want to pause the app? Super simple. Go over and find the actual campaign. You don't have to pause everything inside, but here we're going to pause the campaign itself and click pause. Now, everything inside of that campaign is paused. It's, you don't have to pause the individual ad or the ad group inside, but you can just pause the campaign and now everything's paused. If you want to make it enabled, do that. Hesitate, if not, really never remove it. Because once you remove it, you can never really get into it again and use it again. So pause it for the most part and you can do it that way. Now, let's look at how to actually check the ad and, and check the keywords and things like that inside of the ad. So I'm clicking on the campaign. These are the different ad groups. So usually the campaign is to do with like the area and, and really how you're targeting the campaign. The ad groups are normally the specific services that you have. So the biggest service that we have here are the biggest clicks were for rug cleaning, uh, 3,385 impressions. The click through rate means how many people per impression percentage wise clicked on the ad. This is the average cost per click, which is pretty good rug cleaning, right? Um, and then here, um, conversions, but we don't really have totally conversions set up here, but if you did, that would be, that would be what you'd be looking at. And again, this is pretty typical rug repair and rug pad sales, quite a bit fewer 
actual you know clicks and, and, and bits of traffic so which and if I wanted to pause the actual actual ad group I would just do the same thing here and pause it but keep in mind you can just pause it at the campaign level as well so let's jump in though and look at the actual keywords and then we'll check on the ad as well and show you how to do that so I'm clicking on the ad group these are the actual keywords we're going for right this is great stuff this is what we want to check out we want to look at the different bids that type of thing and, and bid accordingly since this actually is set up for manual cost per click. Now the other really magical thing that I recommend that you highly check all the time are insights and reports search terms. These, This is what, what people actually search. The other thing we just looked at is what you bid for, but that could be different, especially if you put a lot of things in quotes or broad match, it could be different. Regardless, you want to check this very often. So we've got keywords for Stanley Steamer. We got to look at that. Do we want to show up for Stanley Steamer? Um, I've asked the client that to see if he wants to stay for that or not. Zero res, those are showing up a lot lately. If you don't exclude them, they're going to show up. Google's thinking that they're relevant search terms. Stanley Steamer near me, a lot of that type of stuff. But here's the other bad things like be best enzyme. Um, I'm not sure why that's showing up, and maybe we need to add enzymes if that's not already added to the negative keyword list. Best Oriental, Oriental Rug Cleaning Company. A lot of these other ones are really good keywords that we want to show up for, but we're going to delete a negative keyword out that best enzyme and add this to the main negative keyword list and get that going. So that's how you check what people actually search for to make sure that it's the right thing that you want to actually actually do. Now, I want to actually look at the ad. So I'm going to go over here. I'm inside of the ad group already. Uh, you can see that I'm in the campaign and in the ad group. I'm going to actually click on the ads and look at, let's see if I can go back here, probably the rug cleaning and we're going to look at this ad right here and you can click on uh, the little pencil then you can actually see the ad and you can check it out see if you want to change anything see if it's all good or not make sure you have images images are super super important these days and that's how you check out the ad now I do have this is just a basic right for like how to really get around I do have an actual complete program an actual course on how to do Google Ads specifically for cleaning carpet cleaning other types of cleaning companies maid services restoration companies janitorial companies right so I want to offer you that if you need help I also do one-on-one -on -one help and I actually do Google ad services one-on-one -on -one for lots of different cleaning and restoration companies if you're interested in that I'll put the link below this video Google ads are one of the best ways to market a cleaning business because you can show up when you want where you want how you want very very adjustable for how much you can spend on the ads it's something that I highly recommend for most cleaning companies. If you need help, we also have training packages that can help, one-on-one -on -one coaching, whatever you need. Check out the links below this video. Uh, I highly recommend Google Ads. Talk to you soon.